I want to know about entrepreneurship, so let's see what scientific research is offering. Looking at the topic entrepreneurship, of course I don't want to miss entrepreneurial or entrepreneur, so let's search for entrepreneur and adding the star, which will encounter other combinations coming after R. And I will talk the titles of publications and hit search. So let's be very scientific and refine the results a little bit. So I want to make sure to get articles in English language. Finally, about 8,300 records, which contains scientific articles, which has been published in journals. That's the best proxy we have so far to see if you're dealing with scientific literature. Still, so much content, isn't it? So what should we do now? Where to start? If I want to approach reading the most relevant and respected materials, there should be some metrics to help me shortlist this pile. We are living in 21st century. Well, of course, you can always narrow down the results or keep targeting a specific domain in the field. You can add more words to be searched in the title, but let's say I'm, I'm an amateur and I want to familiarize myself with the fundamentals of the field and I start to come from bottom to top and see how this particular idea evolves. Who were the big thinkers? Let's climb and stand on the shoulders of giants. Well, the more common and easiest way is to look at the citation count. More citation, more important. To be honest, this is a good measure, but the truth is, when you're going within this direction, you are ignoring some influential works which might appear recently. Might be quite reputable research in the field, but not so much citations they have. And you know, it happens when somebody wants to show his or her work legit, they just throw one big guy's name and that's it. The citation will come this way also. Generally, it's always good to build certain measures to eliminate errors. Same in here. When the time is limited, content is so much, so it's adv advisable to shortlist a pile of documents beforehand. Here, our Nails cloud service tool can be useful. It will encounter more metadata coming from papers and build a network and evaluate their relevancy and importance within their network also. What I need to do is to download the bibliometric data according to the instruction provided in video number two. Same with the zipping the results and uploading it to Nails Crowd Service. It will take some time for the processing. You can see your job queue number and whenever the results appear, you will receive an email notification. In the literature review statistics preview, you can find some initial results, such as distribution of publication years and citation count, also the number of productive authors according to their publication count. In addition to this, top 25 most cited authors in the field can be found. Important publications could be very insightful in order to see the top journal's publication count regarding the relevant publication about entrepreneurship. Following the top 25 cited publications regarding their activities in publishing entrepreneurship relevant articles. Important keywords can give you an overview of what major combination of words had been used with this topic and is also very insightful where you can improve your search inquiry for constructing a more accurate one in your respected domain. Following this comes the top 25 most cited of these keywords. And now we can see the most important, again, top 25 papers by number of their citation listed here, with their unique IDs in the dataset, their title, author, year of publication, and the DOI number is here if you want to search for the pa exact paper, and the abstract as well. So here it comes the best section, the most important papers presented by metrics which social network analysis and statistics has offered the papers with the highest in degree. In simple word, high in degree means that the paper in the dataset has been cited most often. The same metric has been calculated for the references which is not in the initial dataset. Again, by simple words, literature in our data tend to cite these references most often. So these are the papers which are not included in the dataset and were to include them in our final paper selection process. Here it come another dominant measure within social network analysis terminology, page rank. You can refer to the first video if you want to know more about how it has been calculated. We have here the 25 top page rank score papers. 
also the reference with the highest page rank scores, which is not in our initial data set. So finally, we have enough information to build the most important relevant papers in the field. Here I transfer the results into an Excel sheet. As you can see, the title represents what they are. We have the 25 top literature according to various metrics like time cited, in degree, page rank, also the same for the references which was not in our initial data set. The similar records for each selection is illustrated by green color and the white ones are the unique papers which has been shown by that specific metric. So I want to remove the duplicate in order to see the unique papers among all these 75 papers. Simply by remo removing the duplicates and as you can see these 39 papers are the unique papers. For the references which was not included in our first initial data set, the detected unique materials are 28 which is good to encounter for further readings. I will publish the paper selection down below if you find yourself interested in the entrepreneurship topic. It's a good start though.